What's up, you guys? It's your girl Flawless K here. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> if you read that title, you're probably like, what? You click on this video because this is unreal. And I know it's still unreal to me, but it happens. So we're going to get into the story time very soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, you guys, for more great and amazing informational content. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Man, I can't believe, like, I'm even talking about this because I pushed this so far back in my mind. Like, I did not want to think about this again. But yes, yes, you guys, this is going to be the story of how I feel failed my nursing clinical okay so for those of you who are in nursing school then you guys would know this information very well so with some of your courses you are required to take clinicals it's also kind of like another class this is where you go to the different hospitals and you do um more hands-on nursing and you you're with a nurse you shadow that nurse for the whole day or once you move up in levels like you um get to do some things on your own with the supervision of your clinical instructor so when you do clinicals you do them in a variety of settings you can do like labor and delivery um mental health er like icu kind of whatever your school um kind of has set up for you so this was my senior year um and y'all know this is your senior year like it's the end you're almost done and it was just crazy like so this was my senior year i was already super stressed out um at this point i was doing a clinical at a hospital about an hour away from my school which was absurd and insane um this was a med search clinical that i had so i was working on a med search floor and i was within a group of maybe like six other students who uh, maybe five yeah maybe, i want to say five or six other students in my group um we had the nighttime clinical so i think our clinical started around like three o'clock and it got out at like i don't even know like late like nine or ten like we would get out late y'all and we would have to drive an hour back like i wouldn't even get home until like 11 or 12 at night mainly like 12 at night and then we will have 8 a.m class the next day so it was it was all crazy so yeah i worked um kind of like the nighttime clinical so we will come in I think we had to be there maybe around like one or two like i said so how our every different clinic or every different clinical was set up differently depending on your instructor no one did the same things everyone's group was kind of different so that's why we always try not to compare ourselves to other people like man they're over there doing this that um, instructor allows them to do that because like I said, it all really depends on your instructor. So I was never late, you know what I'm saying, to my clinicals. I felt that like I was doing well. So what would happen was my, we will come in from, for our um, clinical or whatever, and we will sit down for like maybe an hour or whatever. And our instructor would give us a patient or two and we will have to find, go through their um, computer system and find out all this information on the patient, like the history, why they're in the hospital, what medications they're taking. Obviously we had to prepare ourselves because we had to pass medications at certain times throughout the day. So we had to make sure we wrote the medication down, what the medication was for. Okay, we need to know what the medication was for, what did the medication do, the side effects of the medications we needed to know, um and man just a bunch of different information we had to get on our patients because at the end of a clinical i don't know if other nursing students is doing this but for my i had to do like oh uh, man i can't remember what it was called like this paperwork at the end of each um clinical i had to do that this pay mad paperwork like 15 30 pages of paperwork on a patient and you have different questions you have to answer like their history and what you do and a care plan like we had to do all this crazy 
ridiculous paperwork we had to do. So we had to get all this information. So that's kind of what we would do when we come in. We'll sit for maybe an hour or so, get all this information. Then my instructor would come over to us and he will sit and he would like ask us questions. Like and you had to give him like a little report. Like I take care of this patient. I found out about this. These are some of his labs currently. So based off these labs, like my my clinical structure was a patho. He was the patho teacher. So he wanted to know those details. He wanted you to be able to explain why the labs look like this. Why are we giving these medications? You know what I mean? So connect all the whys to connect to the bigger picture. So we that takes time. That takes time, especially if you I don't know. I'm a nursing student. I haven't been working with these patients. I don't know anything about them. So, or I'm not very familiar of how things kind of work together. So he was trying to get us to pull those bigger pictures together. So anyways, we will spend an hour doing that. And then we will go on the floor, talk to the nurse. And by this time, like I was a senior. So they kind of allowed us to have our own patient on our own. Like we didn't really need, um, the other nurse to come in the room with us and do little things if it was only certain like we had to give um like insulin obviously you have to double check that with another nurse so obviously i would double check that with um the nurse that originally had the patient and so forth and so forth so i would just always go through my normal clinical days you know, take my little lunch like everybody else. We always took lunch together. Once everyone was done in the court, we would take lunch together. At the end of clinical, we was we would be on the floor. Oh, I can't even remember, but we would be on the floor for a couple hours, take our lunch, and then after lunch, we would go have a meeting. And then that was the opportunity. We all had to go around the room and kind of explain how our experience went for the day like who our patient was um what was their diagnosis what was going on what are some things that we had to do in order to care for them that day and then you know my teacher he was asking all the questions he wanted to know labs and like man when i tell you i was in there <laughs> <laughs> sweating and I did not want to answer any question like I did not want to get picked on or nothing like when it came time for me to talk about my patient like I tried to be on it because I knew what he was going to ask me and you know he always tries to dig more and more to get you to understand and at the time it was like we were all like Ugh, man that was kind of a hard question I don't know but now that I'm a nurse it's like oh okay I kind of understand why he made us dig i kind of understand why he made us dig so deep um but let's jump into this portion of it so i thought things were going great <laughs> i thought things were going great like with our group and how we were doing things right but um i would kind of talk to like my other friends and stuff and like how they would be like girl we have four patients on our own passing meds doing this, doing IVs, doing all this stuff. And I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool. I think maybe we only had like two patients we were taking care of at the time. But then you also have to be like super, super mindful. Like it just really depends on the hospital. See, my friends were going to a different hospital than me. So they were going more to a hospital that was, I think their hospital was far too, but they went to a different hospital out that way while my hospital was out this way, you know what I mean? So you're going to get different patients at different hospitals depending on the high level of like acuity the patient the hospital may be um it just depends on the type of patients the type of area like it really all depends so like my friends they were telling me yeah we're like taking care of five patients now and i was like five patients you, you taking care of five patients? Yeah, girl, like we go in, like our instructor does not play. She gives us five patients. We hit that floor, we're doing this. I'm changing, I'm cleaning, I'm taking bottles every 30 minutes, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, oh, wow, like that's cool. Poor you know? thing. He kind of rotates us out to different units. We're taking care of maybe like two patients right now. Like, and they're like, what? two patients like girl no like 
no what is y'all doing and i'm just like you know every clinical nurse partner and they aren't clinical doctor is different so anyways one day i'm in class you know because when we have class we have class for like eight hours and it's like several different class for all these hours whatever so i'm in class da -da -da, and it's at the end of the class and i don't i think she's like the dean of nursing or she's like she's like the head the head of nursing walks in our class and we're like oh and when she comes in you know it's like it's some it's some stuff you know it's always something that my class of 2019 of nursing was not doing right so she comes in and she's like she has a list and she's like can this person this person this person this person kayla stay um after class right so we're like i think we just took a test maybe or we were preparing to take a test something around those those lines so i'm like oh oh okay what what i've got chosen this is gonna be really good or this is gonna be really bad but i'm assuming it's bad because she told everybody else to get out she said if your name is not blah 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 or kayla get out <laughs> and i was like oh wait <laughs> so it was pretty much everyone in my clinical group everyone in my clinical group had to stay in a classroom or whatever so she was very like straightforward she was very blunt she was just like giving us this speech saying how we're not doing good in our clinical like the nurses don't feel like we are doing what we're supposed to do, we're not on the floor, we're only on the floor for like three hours, we're not passing meds, we're asking questions we shouldn't be asking or something along the lines. They don't feel like we're ready um, to be nurses at this point. They would never hire us to work in their hospital. Like now, this whole time I'm sitting here like, what what you know you've been thinking you've been doing good this whole time and someone's like no no so she's saying all this stuff you guys is going in on us talking about how the nurses they don't feel like we work hard we're not very helpful we just um man oh yeah oh yeah so it was just one time like one up like we don't give report so one of the nurses so now mind you let's reverse a little bit back with my clinical group we went to this hospital right but there was also another group that went to the hospital as well with us another group but their group was kind of like the morning group our group was kind of like the night group but you know we would kind of bump into each other depending on our days that we are there on the floor so one of the um other nursing students was a guy he gave this note to me or something and he was like, I didn't get my nurses in there talking to a patient. I have to go. Can you give this note to the nurse or something like that? Now, I can't remember if he gave it to me exactly or he gave it to another student in my group or whatever. And so I was trying to look at the note. And I was just like, oh, you know, whatever. Like, that's, that's on y'all. So that apparently whoever gave the nurse the note whatever from the other nursing student it was kind of brought up as well because she was just like um it was told that you all don't know how to give report like you all wrote some information on a piece of paper and gave it to the nurse and i was like oh she she lying they lying on us they lying and we were just so shocked she was like therefore all of you all get an F on your clinical, you're failing, you're gonna be failing um, clinical for my master's class. She kind of gave us like an opportunity to explain ourselves, you know what I mean? And like some of the nursing students was like crying and stuff like, because I don't understand and we were doing so good. They told us not to compare ourselves to nobody else. And I just, this is crazy. And I'm in there like, <laughs> Cause who? 
Because first of all, I work so hard, y'all. I work so hard in nursing school. I always put my best foot forward. I always make sure I bring the best of myself as much as possible in my schoolwork. I ain't never feel nothing, nothing. Maybe, maybe a test, maybe a homework assignment, but a class, never. A clinical, never. So the fact that she was like, saying like yeah you failed your midterm clinic and you're gonna have an f like you guys are gonna have to we're separating you all and we're gonna put you all in different groups so you can work with different people so that's what she did she literally said uh child a you're in this group child b you're in this group you're in this group and kayla you're in this group so I got put into the group that was working at the same hospital on the same floor with the same nurses who said I was incapable. Oh, no. Okay, but I'm just working at a different time with the other students and with the different instructors. So this instructor that I was working with, she was the nursing educator for that hospital. So that was her floor. She was a nursing educator for that hospital on that floor. Like she was pretty much the person who trains new grad nurses to work on the floor. So that was kind of the group of nursing. That was kind of the group that I got added to, to those nursing students who was under her wing. So I don't know if they had some beef or did not like my instructor because my instructor was great. I thought he was great. I thought we were great. Granted, we weren't moving as fast as the others because you can't compare everybody doing their own thing. But I got put um, into that group, me and another girl. So I was kind of upset because first of all, you just talk so much crap about me. You just downplay me, say you will never hire me as a nurse. You don't feel like I'm capable or this, this, and that. And the third, so I'm like, huh, huh. I'm in my feelings, okay? I don't want to go back to that hospital. I didn't want to freaking work on that clinical floor with the same people that was talking so much crap about me and said I'm incapable. Like, no, put me in a different hospital and let me start fresh and show you guys what's up. But no, of course, they separated me, put me back on that same hospital floor. So I had no choice. When I got my midterms, that mug said F. That mug said F. It didn't even say, you know what I mean, like a minus on a look. That mug said F. Fail, you're failing. You're failing masters. Like if you and you know you fell a nursing class, like you have to start the whole year over. So I was not trying to you know. So what I did was I had to turn this circle around. I had to turn this circle around. I got on that floor. I met my new clinical instructor. She was like, These are your patients, blah blah blah. Girl, I was passing my meds i was doing my you know going in talking to my patients seeing what's up um when i had to do my paperwork that i had to turn in at a certain time after completing my clinicals books kayla was writing books turning her stuff in oh this is good this is good doing my research like i was on it because i needed to walk out and walk across that stage okay okay i needed to walk across that stage so i was making sure i was on that floor i was hitting it and then they were like oh you know these two girls like they're doing good this is and that you know of course we failed so we had to do extra clinical days because you know it was like during this time we had like a big winter storm and all this other stuff and we like my clinical group, group we missed some days because my clinical instructor canceled some of our um some of our clinicals due to like the weather so of course we had to make up extra days which really really sucked but like i said at the end of the day i was able to really get myself up there and make sure i passed my class so at the end of it all i managed to still pass my um clinical i just had to work extra hard and prove to them that i did but you know i mean so that's kind of my story. That's kind of my spiel. My my little advice and my takeaway from that was, I felt like them saying that, you know, she's not, I wouldn't hire her as a nurse. Like she doesn't seem like she's ready to be a nurse. Like I was a nursing student. 
I want to nurse things student, <laughs> okay? When you're a nursing student and you're freshly out of like graduation, you just have a minimum of nursing knowledge, okay? Whatever unit you're going to be like on, you will learn and prosper in that area. It really just depends if that area is really for you. Um, for me, I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse for over a year. And I could say like any new grad that walks in is not going to be fully 100% capable. Like you're going to have at that point, once you pass your NCLEX, you know, you are a nurse, right? But you still have a lot to learn. You can learn a lot of this or a lot about labor delivery or be proficient in cardiac or whatever, but you're not going to really fully understand what it means and how you have to be a nurse and fulfill your duties until you work on the unit that you do work on. Like a labor and delivery nurse can't come to a hemodialysis center and tell me that I'm not capable of being a nurse. Or I can't tell her she's not capable of, she's not gonna be good, she's not a good nurse because she doesn't know how to care for these patients and how they do it like oh no no she's a labor and delivery nurse like she's proficient in her area i'm proficient in my area you know you're a nursing student so you're going to prosper and gain more information and become more proficient within whatever area that you get into so never let anyone discourage you and make you feel like you are not a good nurse you will never be capable because all you do is bust your butt off work a little bit harder put in a little bit extra time and you will prove them wrong like i did because i what passed passed my um nursing clinical so i hope you guys like my little story i hope you all were able to get some advice out of it and thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel and i will see you in my next video bye guys